Greetings, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. This episode, we'll be doing a professional Grafton farmhouse. Owner called this morning, Dangerous Ghost. So, let's see if we can't quickly locate and identify a ghost. Grafton. Yeah, I haven't seen Bleasdale in a while. Nope, nope, move. Don't just do the same one. challenge yourself a little bit by trying different angles and positions until you get a basket. Well, it counted even though it bounced right out. That wouldn't have counted an actual basketball because it didn't go all the way through. And we're loading in. Yeah, I haven't gotten a Bleasdale in a while. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly before starting the investigation. I've also written some notes on the whiteboard if you need them. I've got a report that suggests a possible ghost sighting. Okay, that actually means it's less likely to manifest uh, and do uh, events. Uh, let's see. Um Escape during a hunt, motion sensor, photo of the ghost. Kenneth Moore. Uh, it's going to be upstairs in the utility room? Yep. Well, actually, I think that's technically the utility room, so I think that might be considered store upstairs storage. But yeah, I haven't gotten a uh, Bleasdell in a while, and Grafton is actually the better of the two farmhouses. The stair is less gloomy. And it's a little bit more open uh, in the, the layout. Which is actually bad for hiding during a hunt, but uh, so be it. Alright. Probably should have carried a camera, but the farmhouses are fair, fairly dark. I don't know if I just turned that on or off. Keep an eye peeled for a bone or a Ouija board. Tick, tick, tick. What was that flash? Oh, that was the light coming on and immediately going back off. Did I double click it or did the ghost hit it? Hmm, what do we think? I double clicked that. So yeah, maybe it was my mouse. You know, while I'm up here. Do we have a bone upstairs? There's only one more room to check. We do not. No bone. No Ouija board upstairs. Can you give us a sign? I'll take that as a yes. And a, oh, uh, was it a four or a five? Just a four. All right, have that. Huh. Shy ghost, less likely to manifest. Well, that eh, just uh, went out the window, didn't it? Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can't narrow down its location with fingerprints. temperatures. I think we found its room. Yeah, you wouldn't have left fingerprints on anything in here yet. OK, 
Can you give us a sign? What's the frequency, Kenneth? Kenneth Moore. Give us a sign. I never noticed that, actually. Old timey lamp out front. Have I just been oblivious to it, or is that new? Hmm. All right, motion sensor. So let's bring in that and a motion sensor. Grab the motion sensor, thank you. So we have freezing temperatures. Where did I toss the camera in case I need to grab it right there? I'm going to put it here. If you don't trip it when I go out, I'll, mo I'll add another one. So I'm going to bring in the book and a motion sensor, or if it's tripped the motion sensor, I will bring in a book and the spirit box. We have a ghost orb. So we have freezing temperatures and a ghost orb. That gives us Phantom, Mare, and Udai. So spirit box, EMF-5, ghost writing. So we will take in this and this to see if it is a Mare or a Udai and keep looking for the EMF-5 to see if it is a phantom. Fingerprints are not a possibility. Where are you? How old are you? <clears throat> Kenneth Moore. Where are you? How old are you? I do not believe you are a mare. Can you give us a sign? Show yourself. Show me. Give us a sign. Show yourself. Kenneth Moore. Okay. I'm curious if I could see that ghost orb with the light on. Yes because it's in the shadows right over there, right at the bookcase. All right, so we have photo of a ghost escaped during a hunt. We still need our evidence, but it would probably be a good idea to go ahead and get um, a smudge stick and a lighter over to the uh, door. so that I can relight that candle for starters. All right, where 
where did I chunk the EMF reader? Um, I know I was right here when I threw it. Where did it go? My EMF reader seems to have vanished. Okay, well, I guess we get another one, because I can't find that one. Yeah, you're flicking the lights. That doesn't really help me. I was about to ask for a sign. We have a Udi. We don't need that. We don't need that. Show yourself. Show me. Give us a sign. What did you throw? Were either of those interaction? Neither. What did you throw? Show yourself. Show me. All right. That last one should have been interaction. Yes. So I've got two interaction photos. I still would like to get a photo of the ghost. What is my sanity at? Still in the 70s. Udi can drain it faster than most others. Any of their activities that would cause sanity drain are doubled. Oh, that reminds me, I haven't said that. Show yourself. That's what you moved earlier. Show me. Hi. What are you throwing now? My candle? Putz. Alright, so that should be the photo of the ghost. it was. We're in the 60s. We'd have to drop another 10 points, another ghost event. And for a shy ghost, I'm getting some awfully good RNG and it is being very active. Um, hmm. Now I could push for this hunt. I'm pretty sure. Um, I can uh, use this to make it go away, but then it might find me when I hide. So, uh, I still don't think these involving hunts are worth it, because you can't guarantee you're not going to be found during a hunt. Uh, these are a lot easier to get if you have somebody else in the group who can intercept for you and take the death, but uh, I don't know. I just don't think right now, because there's no surefire way to make sure a ghost doesn't find you, they've taken out being able to kite them, that uh, those really aren't worth like 30 extra bucks. Not considering that we'd lose about 205 for all these others. So we're just going to call this one. And we should have about 205. 
the only thing we're missing is that I think we maxed out photos. If we didn't, we might be at 190. Welcome back. 160. I've got some jobs ready for you. I didn't pick up the bone. Oh. That's what it was. So, yeah, 30 extra dollars for not finding the bone. But yeah, so we would have lost 160 if the ghost had found me during the hunt. Um, plus all of the gear I'd brought. Gained a level. Only spent, spent less than four minutes in the dark, less than three minutes in the ghost room. There were two actual events. Alrighty. Well, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.